Could this be the rarest and most valuable Galaxy 7 liter convertible in the world? Maybe, and we'll show you why. Ford was coming out with a brand new engine for 1966, uh, the 428 cubic inch V8. And to launch this, they decided to create a special, uh, a special car. And it had a special name, it was the 7 liter. And it wasn't a Galaxy, it was its own model. So the 1966 7 liter is a one year only car as its own model, and that's what we have here today. You could get a 67 7 liter, that was an option package added on to the Galaxy. Now this particular car is super, super special and we'll get into all the details of why. But first, when we take a look at what the 7 liter package was, uh, it was designed to be kind of a luxury uh, performance car. It was a very um, optioned car. It had disc brakes, it had a comfortable interior, you could get air conditioning and power steering and power brakes and all kinds of luxury features on this thing. But they were promoting this new 428 cubic inch engine as something that was very powerful but also very quiet. And in fact they have uh, some ads that they printed up that called this the quickest quietest car or the quietest quick car. You know, they're really pushing smooth and, and comfort and being quiet and sophisticated. And the seven liter name, uh, in my opinion, if you look at the times, today everything's measured in liters, but back in the mid 60s, liters were a metric measurement and nothing was metric. So when you look at what other cars you could buy, Pontiac had the GTO, which was a competitor of this car, and GTO stood for Gran Turismo Amalogato, which connotates an Italian sports car. So the early GTOs had their engine measured in liters. They had a badge that said 6.5 liter for the uh, 389. Well, Ford kind of wanted to get this international man of mystery appearance on this seven liter executive hot rod as well. So they badged theirs as the seven liter. It was bigger than the GTO 6.5 but it still had this kind of European, uh, you know, flair to it. The 7 liter Galaxy was supposed to have a 428 under the hood. If you saw the 7 liter badge, you knew it had a 428, but there was 36 of these cars that were coupes that escaped with something a little bit different. And there was only two convertibles. And when I say different, I mean the 427 R-Code dual quad, 425 horse, 480 foot pound, monster V8. I just love the fact that this is a big, fancy, luxury car, right? It looks like it's going to be as smooth as a cloud until you start it up and it sounds like this. Ford engines can get kind of confusing because they made a 427, a 428, and a 429. And you think, aren't these the same thing, or how different are they, or what's the deal? The 427 came out first. It's actually a derivative of the 406. Um, it shares the same block as the 428, but that's about it. Uh, the difference in the displacement, it's one cubic inch difference between 427 and 428, but the main difference is how these engines were put together. The 427 was a high compression engine, 11.1 to 1, whereas the 428 was only 10.5 to 1. The 427 had a, a bigger piston with a shorter stroke. The 428 had a smaller piston with a longer stroke. So the 428 made good torque right off the line down low. The 427 was a screamer uh, from mid RPM up to high RPM. The 428 was 345 horsepower uh, 462 foot-pounds of torque, uh, the 427, 425 horsepower, 480 foot-pounds of torque. So the 428 in the 7 liter is like the international spy, but the 427 is like a street brawler on a Saturday night. So this is definitely a race motor in this convertible, and that's what makes it so cool.
Now we talk about some rare cars in the Brothers Collection. Uh, some cars are one of one. Uh, this particular car is one of two made with the side holder 427. But to put that into perspective, think of this. In 1966, Ford made uh, over a million full-size Galaxy and sedans that were of this same family. Okay, I think it's a million and 28,000, something like that. If you look at the size of this car and do the math, this thing is about 88 square feet. So you're looking at about 88 million square feet of cars, which is two and a half square miles worth of cars. And imagine finding two of them like this and two and a half miles worth. I mean, that's a lot of cars. And to make only two in this style, you know, with this engine and the four-speed convertible really kind of puts into perspective about how special this car is. So this isn't a car that just goes fast. This is a comfortable cruiser and it's loaded with options. We've got an AM FM radio in the dash. Uh, we've got an indicator light system underneath the dash that tells you uh, not only if the four-way flashers are on, but also if the doors are locked and a, a low fuel light. Uh, it's got a full-length four-speed console uh, with power windows. The driver's seat is power. Uh, the passenger seat has kind of a cool headrest built in, so the seats are different left to right. A wood grain steering wheel. Uh, power disc brakes. So you think it's just a luxury car, but when you turn the key, the story changes. So we were really fortunate to be able to spend some time with this car, considering that there was only two of these made. Uh, but the other fun fact is that the other 66 7 liter 427 R code 4 speed convertible is also in the Brothers Collection, and that one is being restored, and maybe we'll show you that one when it's finished. We hope you enjoyed this super rare Cyprian Blue 66 Galaxy with the 427 R-Code motor. If you want to see more, you can go to our website at musclecaroftheweek.com. We'll have more pictures of this car. Of course, our Facebook page is a place to go to learn more about the cars and get a preview of next week's. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll never miss an episode of Muscle Car of the Week.